Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you about the Nobridge S6303 and what my setup is, how I plan to run it and what my problem is with it. So, since it was released, the MK23 is one of the most accurate and most silent pistols on the market and people have built these carbine kits for ages for it. And now with the Nobridge S6303 there comes finally a complete solution out of the box for it. So as I said, it's basically a carbine kit for the S623. Um, what they changed is there is a longer inner barrel inside, it's a 303 millimeter inner barrel. You still get the TDC adjustment but this time with a little um, wheel so you can adjust it from the outside. And what's also new is you got a different nozzle inside now, so you can run a much higher power and there's even different nozzles you can buy at Norwich.com if you want to change your power output. And I think it goes from 1 joule up to 2.5 joules. So yeah, if your field allows higher outputs for DMRs or semi-only guns, um, you can get a nozzle with a higher power and yeah, you can shoot your BBs for that. And with the Norwich S6303, Norwich fills up actually a niche that hasn't been done before by any other company. It's a non-blowback gas rifle. Um, that means there are no moving parts, so it's super silent, super gas efficient. And now let's check out how I run my S6303. So I got obviously the rifle here. Um, I got the big Norwich suppressor, um, I made myself a little uh, one point sling, I run the, no the all new Norwich uh, 124 times scope, um, usually I run it only on 4 because that's uh, what I'm used to be, that's what I only need for airsoft actually, there's very rare occasions where you need more zoom and yeah. I like that it's super lightweight, so the whole gun is um, very handy to use. It's even if it hangs down here, it's yeah, it has basically no weight. So let's see what I changed on my SSX303 so far. It's actually only one small thing. It's this little um, O-ring here on the other barrel, and this is because I want my suppressor to be really really tight on the auto barrel and with that I make sure that it will never come off. Other than that I run no attachments on the SSX303. The only thing that comes on top of it is um, a zoom cam which you have enough uh, Picadini rail here to attach it. So zoom cam here. Obviously the camera needs to go over it then or I just use my, where's my camera? <sighs> All right, we good to go with that. So, um, as I said, it's an S623 in there. So what you can do is you can take your S623 magazine, put them in your pistol. You can interchange them with your rifle, which is really nice if you use um, the same weight BB. If you use different weight BBs, it's obviously not the greatest idea because your hopper will be all over the place then. But as long as you use the same weight BB, um, you can just interchange the magazines and there's no way to run out of, of ammo. And that's actually the first problem with the gun. You only got 25 shots. Um, if you're used to an AR rifle, for example, with mid caps, which have around 90 to 100 shots, this is quite low, I gotta say. Um, if you're a regular sniper player and you don't have that much ammo anyways. I don't think it's that much of a problem, but spamming the trigger out of the gun might get you pretty fast low on ammo. But what I've seen, there are way arounds. There are like um, these adapter thingies where you can use M4 magazines or MP5 magazines, but I don't want to run them because then the magazine sticks out a lot more. Yeah, what else is interchangeable with obviously the the holster, you get this um, clicking holster for the SSX 23. 
as you can see, um, it fits with all the attachments. And if you press on this button, it just lifts off. And same with the SSX303. It's just a little tighter because of the of the mesh of the gilly here. But yeah, as you can see, same principle, it clicks in. But I don't know, like, I can think of that using it with um, maybe a folding stock, like Norwich has spoiled that they're working on it. But other than that, if you have this on your hip here, it's, I don't know, I don't think it's very practical then. It works, but like it also sticks like really far. You can see that right now, but it goes underneath my knee. So if you want to kneel down, you're gonna hit the suppressor. So. Yeah, I mean you can work, you can use the holster, but I don't know. Not a fan of that. The next thing I want to talk is um, consistency. Um, the gun runs on green gas, so you get one of those green gas bottles. Um, you fill up your magazine on the valve, and then you have the gas inside and the problem with green gas is that um, depending on the temperature depending on how fast you do follow-up shots um, the pressure can be different so it might be not as consistent as you want it to be so to solve that problem i got myself some of these hpa adapters here for the magazine just put this down. Um, so you can just connect your HPA system, if you have one, to the gas magazine. Turn it on. And now, as you can see, you have infinite air inside your magazine. Um, also, it's always the same pressure. So the shots are really consistent. And yeah, they're not uh, relying on temperature, so you can play it all year long. The only downside on this is um, every time you change the magazine, you also have to disconnect the hose, get the new magazine in and connect the hose again. But I don't see this rifle as a gun where you have to reload really fast. Usually the people who run this gun are uh, more of the sneaky players, so you can take your time, you can disconnect the hose, reload and then start shooting again. Worst case scenario, just switch to your sidearm and reload when you have a lot more time. Um, but for me personally, it's more important to have consistent shots than having fast reloads. But this is basically the same with my sniper rifle. It's not the fastest reloads on the sniper rifle. So if I have um, a fast engagement, I usually switch to my sidearm anyway, so I'm already used to that. The other problem I have with this gun, and it might sound silly now, but it's because it is silent. So, what people usually run to this as a sidearm is the SS623, because it is silent, you want to be sneaky, so why not get a sneaky sidearm as well? And this makes sense if your game field doesn't have um, doesn't have areas where you have close engagements. Because what I ran into, and this is a huge problem in our field because it's mixed up on like a lot of CQB, but it also has um, long range, uh, long range-ish um, areas. It has parts where you want to, where you not want to be seen, where you want to be silent, where you want to flank the enemy. But then you also have these areas where you just need to rush into a room, you need to clear several enemies. And there I ran into the problem that people don't call their hits because they couldn't hear the shot, because they didn't see a slide moving, they didn't see anything. And I had several occasions where in a face-to-face -face engagement I was um, going in with my silent gun, I was shooting at the guy and he was saying like, oh you didn't hit me because or even BBs coming out of your gun because nothing was moving, nothing was... He couldn't hear anything. So, 
this is a problem for me, I'd say, and this is why for my loadout with the SSX303, I'm going to run uh, a loud sidearm, probably. On my field, the limit for DMRs is just a little bit higher than for usual uh, airsoft rifles, so engagement distance is not a problem, so if I want to do silent shots, I can do it with the rifle, but if I want to go into a building, want to have this uh, close engagements, I'm going to switch to my very loud sidearm and yeah, that's the way to go for me. With that said, I still think this is a great gun. It fills up a niche that hasn't been done before. Uh, it shoots really well, it is silent, um, it is accurate, it doesn't have any unnecessary parts on it, so it's lightweight, it's just the perfect gun actually and I can't wait to run this. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below how you run your SSX303. My name is Fabi and I'll see you guys on the next one.